hello everyone the today video is about to ready the pre request trees so what are the pre request trees so we need to install the new project then we need to install the laravel ui package and then cashier and stripe so i have installed the fresh installation of laravel so this is the latest version of laravel and uh, this is laravel 8 and uh, there is two days uh, after two days laravel 9 will come okay and uh, here you need to uh, install the laravel ui package so if you are not familiar with the laravel ui package you can watch my previous video where i explained that how you can install the laravel ui package in laravel okay you can get all of the stuff so you will uh, get this login register stuff okay and uh, you can now register and log in the user then next step you need to install the laravel cashier so let's copy this command and install the laravel cashiers so open the new terminal here and uh, then we need to you need to read already your database so i uh, created this uh, stripe integration in mysql and connected this with the database okay let's copy this and go to the terminal let me clear this out and paste it here and hit enter okay so it will uh, install the laravel cashier for us so it will uh, take few moments so i'm pausing this video and coming back and uh, yes this package is installed and it's uh, loading the optimized file okay so next step you need to uh, php artisan run this command so before this uh, let me show you that how our user table look like okay our user table contains uh, password member token and created and updated it after we uh, run this php artisan migrate so uh, it, uh, laravel cashier will add uh, some column in this uh, user table and also create a subscription table okay so let's go here and uh, uh, let me wait for a moment to and yes it's completed so here we need to run php artisan migrate so it will migrate our database migrations okay migrate and uh, yes it's migrated okay subscription table is also added subscription item tables is which is the pivot table is also added so give it a refresh and uh, yes the columns are added stripe id payment type payment last four digit and trials end and uh, we have also there is uh, two tables which is the first one is stripe here we can store the now user subscription and this uh, contain the user uh, how many items user contains right so this is the pivot table which is handle the subscriptions uh, items great so what is the next step next step we need to uh, this is the optional stuff you can uh, publish your migrations or you can you can't so it's upon you okay and then if you want to ignore the migration you don't want to use a laravel cashier migration you can add this in your service provider app service provider in the register method so it will ignore the laravel cashier migration so next step you need to add this billable trait in your user model or whatever model you are using if you are going to use other model you can add this in your other model so we are going to use this user model so that's why i'm going to add this in the user model in the next video i'm not going to uh, do this for now okay and then we need to ready our this stripe account so our cashier installation is successfully done and now we need to move forward to this stripe so this is the official github repository of the stripe there is 3.1k stars so let me uh, get this uh, stripe uh, package okay and here i need to paste this and hit enter so it will install the stripe package for us so it's it will also take some time so i'm pausing this video and coming back okay installation is done and uh, let's go back and we uh, don't need uh, any more commands so let's uh, close this one and uh, go to the stripe.com and uh, this uh, here you need to register yourself why we are registering here because we need the 
secret key and public key so you need to fill the email full name country and password and create an account it's very simple i'm not creating this because i have already created this okay so you can create this account whenever it will create it so i'm signing in okay and then show you that how you can get the secret key and public key so click on this so this is already logged in so whenever you register this it will open a stripe dashboard for you okay and uh, yes stripe dashboard is opened and it's by default to uh, uh, mood is on test mood so you can enable or disable it right so now let's go here and click on this developers so we are going to get the api's keys so click on this api keys and here is the public key and you can also click on this reveal test key and get the secret key so we need these two ones so we are going to use this in our future videos so hope uh, you learned this how you can ensure already the basic stuff so i will meet you in the next one bye bye